Hi, I'm Gary Hevel. I'm public information officer and entomologist at the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History here in Washington, D.C. These bugs were in our house in Silver Spring, Maryland. My wife, Julie, was uh, taking care of these by collecting them, some of them by vacuum cleaner. So our house is really a magnet for these insects. In the fall, the brown marmorated stink bugs do accumulate and come to houses, and people see them uh, first outside the houses, and then the uh, stink bugs get inside to overwinter. Stink bugs are no problems uh, to humans and pets. They have no stinger, and they don't have mandibles to bite with. They have a sucking mouth part. The brown marmorated stink bug is native to uh, China, Japan, Korea, Taiwan, that part of the world and they were well known there as pests throughout the many years. They've apparently come into the United States in crates or something in the late 90s. Stink bugs of this kind, the brown marmorated stink bug, were first found in Allentown, Pennsylvania, at least first collected there in 1998. Now they're in no less than 30 different states in the United States, from Oregon to California, but mainly in the eastern states. Uh, stink bugs have a great capacity to get into houses. They come in under the rafters, through the attic, all kinds of measures. Uh, there's no real way to control them from doing that. Various insecticides outside have been tried, but if a person wants to try, they can plug any kind of entry hole around the basement, around in the attic, wherever you can find to stop them or, or deter their numbers at least. When stink bugs do get into the house, there's one or two methods of control or, or getting rid of them. And one, and probably the best preferred, is simply a vacuum cleaner. If you did accumulate them, the best way to deal with them probably would just be to put the jar or the bag into the freezer overnight to kill them. Stink bugs actually stink because they have holes in the sides of their body, in the abdomen and the thorax. And they're able to emit an odor there that really is bad smelling. The stink bug actually has the stink set up as a natural defense because they have predators, birds, frogs, toads, all kinds of vertebrates, and that's their protection. At least it would startle or scare away the predator, hopefully, and a stink bug might get away. The brown marmorated stink bug is likely going to be with us for a number of years, if not forever, but several scientists have taken up a method of control. The most prominent, perhaps, is a fellow named Jeff Aldrich, at the Beltsville USDA Agriculture Service Lab. And he's taking up the idea of airborne chemicals that would be placed in a trap and all the stink bugs would fly into that trap and be killed with another chemical. The Department of Entomology at the Smithsonian Institution is a very large collection, one of the three largest in the world. And we have many authorities and researchers doing the work of taxonomy. We contribute strongly with the Department of Agriculture to gain information and put together all the information that you would need to know to control and know about these kinds of pest species.